Polluters can no longer hide their emissions of sulfur dioxide by failing to report them. That's because Canadian researchers have found a way to detect it using satellites. The new study, led by research scientists at Environment and Climate Change Canada, used data from NASA's Earth Observing Aura Satellite. Aura was launched in 2004, part of a NASA mission to study the crucial gases that affect our changing climate. One of those gases is sulfur dioxide. It's a pollutant that generates acid rain and also produces particulate matter that's been linked to both short-term and deadly long-term health risks. Because of that, sulfur dioxide producing facilities are required to report their emissions to federal agencies each year. Now the good news, the new data confirms reports that sulfur dioxide emissions are falling right across the world. But the research group also uncovered some very big polluters, oil and gas plants in the Persian Gulf that haven't been reporting their emissions. Here you can see the man-made sources of sulfur dioxide pollution detected by the satellite that hasn't been reported. Many of the biggest sources are in the Persian Gulf and Mexico. These polluters may be responsible for 6 to 12 percent of man-made sulfur dioxide emissions worldwide. Now there was no missing sources in Canada. So are these companies really trying to cover up? Well, in Canada, industrial facilities typically measure sulfur dioxide emissions directly using a device that's attached to a smokestack, getting fairly accurate readings. But in other countries, the statistics may be based on estimates. Scientists have been discussing the possibility of being able to track pollutants using satellites in space for a long time, but the study's authors think this is the first time they've actually succeeded. At first, they weren't sure if their method was going to work when they detected huge sources in the middle of the Pacific but that turned out to be dormant volcanoes. In fact, that's another interesting find for the group, that dormant volcanoes are emitting almost 30% of the sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere, with the rest being man-made. So what to do with this new information? Well, for starters, the data will help scientists generate more accurate pollution forecasts and health impacts. But the ultimate goal is to make better decisions and potentially help enforce environmental regulations. The researchers think the new technique could be used to detect some other pollutions in space soon. And now, you're science smart. If you've got a science question on your mind, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.